I'm the eldest child of like five of us. So, and as a man as well, I was kind of like thrown into the role from like a young age. So like the minute my father left, I remember my mum telling me that I was the man of the house and I was like five, six when this happened. So at the time, not fully understanding everything that was going on, I just got excited at the fact that I was being man in the house. There's so much that I do, well, that I did when I was living there, that fortunately now my siblings can do as well because I've taught them. Like just even the things that most people would consider basic, like cleaning, cooking, moving things. Like when you're doing that day in, day out, it can take quite a toll on people. But I feel that all these experiences, which at the time were quite stressful for me, you know, it's all part of character building. That's how I like to look at it. The whole life that I've lived so far, as hard and as stressful as it's been, everything that's come into action for children, the different people that have met me and offered to help me, it's just amazing. And I can have asked for better people. It was my mother's psychiatrist, I think it was, told her um, at the end of one of her sessions that uh, there's this great charity that, you know, they look after children that are registered carers and they give them guidance and then it also gives my mother a chance to rest. When we went there, it was really good to be welcomed by Ben and like, all the different people that were there. And it was uh, me and Ben an, an instant connection because he came to our house already to do like a little interview, like a little meeting with us and he's a very good character, he's a good person. Like even now I still have this great like, connection with him, even though I'm not there, me and him we still talk regularly as if we're friends. It's just amazing, I'm someone who believes in gods and like fate and stuff like that, so I don't know, I feel like it was planned perfectly because the times we were going through were so difficult and then like we see Savak Young Carers and Action for Children and suddenly we've now got this lifeline. I always had a sense that I was really good at like coordinating things, like being a leader. But that was because I was always told I had to be, like at home. I was just told, be a leader, that's your job. But then like going to Action for Children, it really showed to me the qualities that I have. So leadership, um, conversationalism, it made me realize the potential inside me, like for better things than what I'd already pictured for myself. Like having spent all my life being told that I'm not worth much by my father or whatever and then to come to Ash for Children and then like see that I'm worth so much more, that's something that you, you can't put a price on that.